Welcome to our channel, today, we're going to summarize, A Separate Piece by John Knowles. A Separate Piece by John Knowles follows a complex friendship between Jean and Finney at a boarding school during World War II. Jealousy and guilt drive their relationship to a tragic outcome, ultimately exploring themes of friendship, rivalry, and the loss of innocence. Chapter 1, The Summer Session In Chapter 1 of A Separate Piece by John Knowles, the narrator, Jean Forrester, returns to his former boarding school, Devon, 15 years after graduating. The setting transports Jean back to his memories of the summer session in 1942, just before World War II. He reflects on the events that occurred during that pivotal time, particularly his complex friendship with his roommate, Phineas, or Finney. Jean describes the idyllic atmosphere of Devon and the contrasting personalities of the students, including himself and Finney, who seems to possess an effortless charm and athleticism that both impresses and unsettles Jean. Chapter 2, The Fall Session the summer session gives way to the fall term, and Jean and Finney continue their unique bond. Finney proposes the creation of a secret society, the Super Suicide Society of the Summer Session, which involves jumping off a tree into the river as a symbol of their youthful rebellion against authority and conformity. Jean reluctantly agrees to join feeling a mix of admiration and envy for Finney's fearlessness. However, during one of their jumps, Jean experiences a moment of doubt and hesitates, causing Finney to fall and shatter his leg. Chapter 3, The Winter Session Chapter 3 takes place during the winter session, and Finney returns to Devon with a cast on his leg. The atmosphere at the school changes as the war becomes a more imminent reality. Finney, unable to participate in any physical activities, maintains his positivity and refuses to acknowledge the war's impact. Meanwhile, Jean harbors guilt over his involvement in Finney's accident but keeps it a secret. Jean assumes the role of Finney's assistant and accompanies him to various events, further blurring the boundaries of their friendship. Chapter 4, The Summer Session Again In Chapter 4, Summer arrives once more, and the boys eagerly anticipate their final year at Devon. Finney, with his leg still healing, creates an alternate reality for himself by denying the existence of the war. Jean joins him in his delusions, avoiding the harsh realities of the outside world. They spend their time together, engaging in playful activities and avoiding responsibilities. Jean becomes increasingly dependent on Finney's influence, finding solace in their friendship and the escapism it provides. Chapter 5, The Winter Carnival the Winter Carnival takes place in Chapter 5, and Jean decides to participate in a school event called the Snowball Fight. The competition brings out a dormant aggression in Jean, and he feels a surge of resentment toward Finney, whom he believes is purposely holding him back from achieving his true potential. In a moment of anger and frustration, Jean jounces the limb of the tree, causing Finney to lose his balance and fall down a flight of stairs, resulting in a second, more severe injury. Chapter 6, The Trial Jean faces the consequences of his actions as he is summoned to a secret tribunal held by the other boys. They question him about his involvement in Finney's accidents, accusing him of intentional harm. Jean denies the accusations but begins to question his own motivations and the dark impulses within himself. The trial ends without a clear resolution, leaving Jean with a deep sense of guilt and a fractured relationship with Finney. Chapter 7, 
The Summer Session for the Last Time, Chapter 7 marks the final summer session at Devon. The war has escalated, and the boys are preparing to enlist in the military. Jean and Finney's friendship has become strained, with both harboring feelings of resentment and betrayal. Jean finally confesses his involvement in Finney's accidents, and they have a confrontation. However, their reunion is short-lived when when tragedy strikes again. Finney, while trying to re-engage in physical activities, falls down a set of stairs and re-injures his leg. This accident proves fatal, and Finney dies during the subsequent surgery. Chapter 8, The Epilogue, said in the aftermath of Finney's death, Jean reflects on the impact of their friendship and the transformative power of guilt, forgiveness and self-discovery. He comes to realize that his envy and resentment towards Finney were driven by his own insecurities and the fear of confronting his own flaws. Jean acknowledges the loss of innocence that occurred at Devon and the profound impact of the war on the lives of the students. Throughout a separate piece, John Knowles explores themes of friendship, jealousy, guilt, identity, and the loss of innocence. The novel delves into the complexities of human relationships, particularly the internal struggles and rivalries that can exist within them. It offers a poignant examination of the psychological and emotional challenges faced by young men during a time of war and the lasting effects these experiences can have on their lives. Thanks for watching. To read the full version of the book, click on the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for similar content.